Paddlefish is an ancient fish. It, it's millions and millions of years old. It's one of our oldest fish in North America. Um, it doesn't have very many close relatives here at all. Um, it actually has uh, the big long paddle which it uses to help find its prey. It's got little electrical sensors inside of that, not that rostrum we call it, and it's able to find denser areas of prey using that. It also is a uh, plankton filter feeder, so it walks, it just swims around with its mouth wide open. The plankton collect in its gills, and the gill rakers push the food back into its mouth, and that's how they feed. Well, when we put in the dam, we changed all the flows, and that cut off their part of their reproductive cycle, and that's why they slowly disappeared out of our system. Um, when we realized this, we started to recommend the different flows and try to get them back in, in, in sync. By mimicking these natural flows, we're trying to get the river system working back in a healthy way. The paddlefish is kind of the poster child for this, is that we put in the dam back in the 60s and they slowly disappeared. They're a very long lived species, so it took us a while to watch them disappear before we realized what's going on. Today we released about 21 uh, one-year-old paddlefish. They've been implanted with a, a radio tag that sends out a signal and it's got a battery life of about a little over a year. So we'll be able to track these fish over the next year. We also have about five permanent stations all around Caddo Lake and the Big Cypress that tell us where these fish are going. So each time they pass the tower, it's actually logging into our computer that says, this is where this fish is, this is when it passed by, this is how strong the signal was, and so it gives us a bunch of information. The Army Corps has actually funded both phases of the paddlefish releases. They funded us to uh, do the first release and then chase them around for a year, and they're actually giving us money uh, enough to get the second phase started. What we'd like to do is catch some adult paddlefish from below Caddo Lake, and then below the Lake of the Pines, some of the ones we've already released, recapture them, put in longer lasting tags, but we have a lot of support from all of our other partners too. There's a lot of people who are helping us here. The Northwestern Water District, the uh, TPWD, the Nature Conservancy, Cattle Lake Institute. There's so many people working in together to solve all these problems and, and try to make it all come true uh, that we have a lot of people helping to fund us, but the Army Corps has been a very good partner. Prehistoric paddlefish. <laughs> Thank <laughs> <laughs> you.